as we're here at you know, IBC 2015, you know, we've gone through many decades now of nonlinear editor evolution. So one may ask, uh, is the editor still important? And I would say it's more important than ever. You know, if we go back historically, editing systems really only had to deal with a very small number of media types. Uh, today, we're dealing with almost an infinite array uh, of media, everything from GoPro, DSLR, RED, all producing different types of media. And when you sit down to edit, you, you do not want to be thinking about what is the source of the media. You're concerned with the content of the media. So uh, a good editing system will take all of that and just make that transparent. Uh, and you want to interact with it. So at its best, an editing system has to be a seamless uh, interface between your ideas and getting them uh, into your, your content. So if we think about you know, the artist and a canvas almost, uh, Adobe makes very nice paintbrushes. Uh, if the paintbrush is, is, is uh, excellent, the ideas just flow. If the paintbrush is, is horrible and blocks you at every step, your creativity becomes uh, hindered. So you know, that's really what we strive to be as a, a seamless conduit of ideas. So you know, we're, uh, we're in an age where we have a full range of devices that you know, people use every day. Uh, it ranges from you know, phones to tablets to desktop experiences. And all of them now have incredible creative potential. Uh, one of the things that happens, though, is we have to really kind of choose the right tool. At Adobe, we've taken the approach that what we want you to be able to do is edit with the device that it's at hand. Uh, we've developed Adobe Premiere Clip, which allows you to edit with media that's on your phone. And one of the things we do, which uh, our users have really responded well to, when you've isolated material on the phone, which is a very simple editing experience, the moment you place it into a timeline, it will sync with the cloud. So when you sit down at your desktop experience, that edited content and the sequence itself is available for you to take further in Premiere. So it's really about creating the right interface for the right device and using the cloud as a seamless conduit to pass your ideas around. So I think all of the devices are important. Um, we find, particularly in news, the phone is being used a lot for second camera work, covering news stories that may not be worthy of a full camera crew, but later are very important. So uh, we do want people to be able to express their ideas on whatever device happens to be at hand. Uh, what we try to do is make sure that things are just innately intuitive. Um, so if a user walked up to Premiere Pro today for the first time and hasn't edited, but has maybe had an experience with an iPad, they might start you know, using a touch screen on, say, a Windows laptop. Uh, they'll be pleasantly surprised. We've added features so that they can scrub media, mark in and out just with a touch, drag media across to the record window, and be presented with a heads-up display so they can add the you know, stuff to the timeline very simply. Uh, never touching the keyboard, just working simply. If uh, a professional editor sat down at the same system, they could work in a completely keyboard-driven way. And we've gone into great depth to design means of shuttling and interacting with the media that are uh, extremely powerful and extremely careful. So as we, you know, we look to the future and we start to say, you know, well, what is going to be the, the, the dominant way of creation? Um, I think in our space in particular, uh, I think the desktop has a, a good long future. Um, particularly with the home experience driving to Ultra HD, 4K, that's still some heavy media uh, and still requires some substantial processing. So you will continue to see uh, desktop innovation from Adobe. Uh, the other thing you've seen from Adobe is our, our creative cloud platform. Uh, as you've watched that evolve, the layer of services that we're offering now there is exceptionally rich. Uh, in the video domain, one of the great things is if you happen to store a red file there, you can immediately play it back on any device. Um, if you're working on our clip application, you can exchange data. Same with Hue. All of these things happen innately. So I think the cloud will be one of the key things that enables workflow. So I don't think it'll be about any one platform in particular. I think the desktop will remain the anchor hub, but we want to have all of these different mobile experiences, whether it's creativity, or just capturing something that you're going to integrate in the desktop later, all being uh, essential parts of this. I think it's about combining all the services and making sure that what you need is available on the device you happen to have at hand at that time. So I don't think there's going to, I still think the desktop will be the anchor though.